good morning once again in the last class we have discussed this 13 10 20 in the last class we have discussed the factorization process the factorization process by using identities in which the first one was a plus b whole square second was a minus b whole square and third was a plus b a minus b and this is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square a square minus 2ab plus b square and this was a square minus b square in which these rhs were expanded form and this left hand side was factorized form <laughs> yes class we have discussed till this point any issue <coughs> any issue till this point we have learned if there is a equation how to see these three terms over there and write the answer in that case now the fourth one that we have learned is x plus a into x plus b that is x square plus twice a plus not twice sorry only only a plus bx a plus b x plus a b so we have learned this thing now we have to use this fourth formula in today's example but i will give you midpoint theorem sorry uh, middle term splitting or middle term splitting we will try to use this method okay so class let's see an example suppose you have x square plus 5x plus 6 example x square plus 5x plus 6 factorize tell me can we use any of the three formulas in this equation can i say it can be 2ab can i say this is b square no 6 is not square of any number so we cannot use the three formulas in this case even if i see i can say this came from x square i cannot say from where this came so <laughs> i will not be able to use the first two identities that is a plus b whole square and a minus b whole square in that case i have to use the fourth technique in that case i will have to use the fourth technique that is the formula fourth one let me see one second so class first tell me what is power of variable in this first term the power of variable in the first term is please tell me the power of variable two the power of variable in the second term the power of variable second term is 1 and the last one what is the power of variable in the last term there is no variable so we can say the power is 0 so if you see it is written in this way that first maximum power of variable will come then lower and then the lowest this is the standard form of writing a quadratic equation this is the standard form of writing a quadratic equation so in this standard form 
what is the middle term please tell me in this what is the middle term middle term is 5x so we have to break this 5x into two numbers we have to break this 5x into two numbers such that their product becomes 6 and their sum becomes 5 let me show you suppose i want to break it in m and n so we want m plus n should be equal to plus 5 and m into n should be equal to this thing 6 plus this is known as middle term splitting where we want to split the middle term in two parts such that the sum of two parts become 5x and the product of two parts become 6. Now, sir, how can you get to know that mn is equal to 6? But it is a technique. Uh, let me tell you the formula itself first. C. Suppose you have a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c and you want to use middle term splitting you have to find two factors to find two numbers m and n such that m plus n is equal to b and m into n is equal to ac class one second what happened why they are calling class one second Stop. pause recording okay so class i was telling you to find the factor form for this one what we do is one second So no science class today no not for you it was for class 9th only so class we have to break the middle term in such a way that m and n sum should be b and m into n should be a into c let's take the example now c we want to break this middle term so we have 6 we want the product to be 6 and sum to be 5 let's factorize 6 so why did you said mn is equal to ac i will tell you joel don't worry so this 6 we have to find let us factorize it 2 3 is a 6 3 1 is a 3 so the two factors are 2 and 3 plus we can say 2 plus 3 2 plus 3 is how much 5 and 2 into 3 is 6 and this is one only over here so it is 6 only. Now let's write in broken form x square plus 2x plus 3x plus 6. So this way we have split the middle term. Class, are you able to understand? We have split the middle term 5x in two parts 2x and 3x. And now we will use the concept of regrouping simple now you can take common the x over here it becomes x plus 2 then it becomes 3 common x plus 2 and finally you can take x plus 2 common and you will get x plus 3 so what we do in this questions is we write the three terms as four terms and then we take common to write the answer class are you able to get a little bit of this question? I will give you more examples to make it clear. Please confirm. I will give you more examples. Let us see one more example. You try this one. Suppose we take example z square minus 12 minus 4z. Class first tell me is this quadratic equation proper <clears throat> okay i will do with the fourth formula don't worry first tell me class is this proper 
this is not proper because the power of variable is 2 over here and here the power is 0 it should be in descending order so we can write this as z square minus 4z minus 12 this is the form now if you see comparing with the fourth formula x square plus a plus bx plus a b so class if you compare with this thing what is the value of x tell me class if you compare with the fourth formula this equation what is the value of x x is equal to z now we need to find two other values a and b class tell me what is the value of a b by comparison tell me what is the value of a b a b is a b is minus 12 if you see it can be written as like this so a b is minus 12 and a plus b is class please tell what is the value of a plus b what is the value of a plus b please tell it is minus 4 now we have to find the value of a and b please tell me class if product of a and b is minus 12 and sum is minus 4 what should be the value of a and b these are two variables na? their product is minus 12 their sum is minus 4 how to find their individual values please tell how to find their individual values for that we will take a b and we prime factorize it so 2 6 are 12 2 3 is a 6 3 1 is a 3 and now we will make some pairs ananya very good sorry aryan please see if i take a pair of 6 and 2 please see if i take a pair of 6 and 2 if i take minus 6 and plus 2 will we get mi minus 4 class if i take a pair of 6 and 2 in which i take 6 as minus and 2 as positive in that case their sum will be minus 4 and their product will be minus 12 our both the work is done we have got the sum as well as product so we can say a is equal to minus 6 and b is equal to plus 2 and now we can break the equation so z square plus sorry uh, z square minus 6z plus 2z minus 12 i think yes so what we have done we have broken the three terms into four terms so that we can go for regrouping and now you can see these two have a common thing these two have a common thing let's take the common z minus 6 plus 2 common z minus 6 now in both of them z minus 6 is common and finally we have z plus 2 so class this is known as the fourth identity where we try to find the value of a and b to get the answer i will give you more examples don't worry till the time it is perfectly clear to you i will give you more and more examples this example is clear to you class is this example clear to you kindly answer okay i'm giving the next example now no sir please repeat okay harshul is saying please repeat let's repeat the example i am repeating it but please see z square minus 4z minus 12 c class my first preference is to take common can i take anything common right now class my first preference to factorize is by taking something common can i take something common right now please answer no we cannot take common my second preference 
my second preference is to go for regrouping as there are only three terms i don't think it will work so regrouping will not work the third technique is using identity the third technique is using identity i can see this must have come from z square can you tell from where minus 12 came is 12 square of any number is minus 12 square of any number no so that formulas of a plus b whole square and a minus b whole square a square minus b square all cancel no case will be applicable in this question all the cases that we have learned till now that helps us to factorize no case is applicable so we will go for the fourth formula class and we will try to solve by fourth formula fourth formula is little bit lengthy but that helps us to solve these kind of question so class are we ready to compare so let's compare comparing with x square plus a plus b x plus ab now if you observe in between plus sign is coming class if you observe in the formula plus sign is coming so what can i do is i can write the above question as z square plus 4 into z plus minus 12 now it will be easy to compare what do you say because plus sign is there plus sign is there now it is easy for us to compare now tell me class and harshul you also what is the value of x if x square and z square are comparable if you see these two are comparable so what is the value of x x is simply z finished now tell me harshul what is the value of a plus b by comparing the second terms what is the value of a plus b please tell harshul what is the value of a plus b others please try vanshika you also try beta hiteshri joel ananya what is the value of a plus b a plus b is not 4z beta a plus b is only 4 because z is your x if you compare properly z and x are same that means a plus b is only the constant thing that is 4 similarly tell me what is the value of ab if you compare ab what is the value of sorry it is not 4 it is minus 4 sorry 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 it is minus 4 my mistake what is the value of ab ab is minus 12 so class this was the way by which we compare we got a plus b as minus 4 and ab as minus 12 now the question is what is the value of a and b class in the answer we required the value of x we required the value of a we required the value of b but we know their combination we know their sum we know their product we need to understand how to find their values i want to ask you one thing harshul and others tell me if sum of two numbers is negative and their product is negative what is the nature of numbers first tell me if their sum is negative and their product is negative what is the nature of numbers are they both positive or they both negative please tell me what is the nature of numbers are they both positive both negative one positive one negative what which we will work work for us please tell one should be positive one should be negative because then only the product can be negative because if both are positive then also product is positive if both are negative then also product is positive so we need to have one positive one negative that is clear now tell me which one is larger class now tell me which one is larger positive is larger or negative is larger please tell me 
if one is positive one is negative then which one is larger positive or negative no beta harshul khushi is correct negative should be larger so one number is negative one number is positive and it should be larger why larger then only the sum can be negative if positive is larger then sum will be positive only so you have to understand the given situation now we have to understand how to find the value of a and b so let's find for that we will take this value 12 2 6 12 2 3 6 and 3 1 3 and now we will form a pair and we will see which pair is helpful for us if i take 4 and 3 please tell me if i take 4 and 3 will that be helpful class please tell me if i take minus 4 and plus 3 their product is minus 12 that is okay but minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1 not minus 4 so this pair is not working we have to check for other pairs which are helpful so this pair is rejected tell me the other pair class if i take minus 2 and this thing that is minus 6 and 2 class if i take minus 6 and 2 their sum will be how much their sum will be minus 4 and their product will be minus 12 so this this combination is helpful for us so we can say the value of a is minus 6z so we can say a is equal to minus 6 and b is equal to 2 now put in the equation so we will have z square plus this is minus 6 plus 2z plus minus 6 into 2 this was the thing and we can say the answer is comparing with x square plus a plus bx plus ab is equal to x plus a x plus b we can say the answer is z minus 6 z plus 2 now tell me harshul now is it clear to you harshul is it clear to you now tomorrow i will take more cases if it is not clear to you please watch this lecture again this fourth identity is little bit lengthy but it is very helpful to find sir please one more example but time is less okay if you say let us take one more example 3m square plus 9m plus 6 okay let's take this example 3m square plus 9m plus 6 again we will try to think can we take anything common no common first way is wrong first way will not work second way by regrouping not work joel is saying sir please do example 5 221 example 5 okay but beta joel that is directly formula this this technique is not required over there okay so it will not work third was a plus b square or a minus b square or a square minus b square these will not work so last step i need to know uh, joel i will help you in whatsapp okay you can send me over there your solution i will help you there don't worry so class this will also not work because 6 is not a square of any number so we have checked all the above techniques no technique is working so we will go for the new technique that we have learned we will compare this with comparing with okay in this case i think we have to take common then only it will work yes so we have to compare with x square plus a plus b x plus ab class tell me are these two comparable right now class please tell me are these two comparable right now can i say no because it is 3 over here and here the constant is 1 we have to understand here 
the constant is 3 with square term here the constant is 1 so we have to make it 1 we have to take common first because we have learnt always take common first so we can take common 3 what will be left inside please tell if we take 3 as common what will be left inside class please help if we take 3 common what will be left inside yes m square will be left plus 3m plus 2 so this is the equation that we have got now we will compare it with this thing class now we can compare please tell me what is the value of m please tell the value of m now it is comparable please help me what is the value of m m is your yes please compare m is x because it is m square it is x square so m is x now tell me what is the value of a plus b sorry we should write like this x is equal to m yes because we are comparing in the opposite way na? so x is equal to m hang on second Please tell me what is the value of a plus b? It is 3. And what is the value of a b? What is the value of a b? Mayang, no, no issue better. It is 2. Now, tell me what should be the value of a and b such that their product is 2 and their sum is 3. First, tell me the nature. Tell me the nature of numbers. Are they both positive, both negative or one positive, one negative? Please tell me. Are they both positive, both negative, one positive, one negative? So, we will go for both positive because this only will help us. Now, let us find the value of A and B. For that, we have to prime factorize this 2. 2 ones are 2, 1 ones are 1. So only possible numbers are 2 and 1. So we can say, let's take A as 2 and B as 1. And you can check, 2 plus 1 is 3 and 2 into 1 is 2. So we have broken. So hum, please concentrate in your studies. So we can write the equation is m square plus 2m, sorry, 2 plus 1m plus 2 into 1. So the final answer is m plus 2, m plus 1. With that, we finish this. Okay. So this way you can utilize this technique of fourth one and you can find the solution of exercise questions. Try them and if you have doubts, we will discuss it tomorrow. Okay.